Okay, so imagine 20 years from now, you're still stuck in McPherson, Kansas, on a cold winter day. Your spouse is yelling at you in the other room to do the dishes, and your little toddler is begging at your knee because he wants to go outside and play. But you, you can't obviously let him go outside because it's too cold, so you're going to help them make some slime. In this process, you're going to need some borax, some good old-fashioned Elmer's glue, two half cups of water, and that's about it. Okay, so your first step is to take the borax and dump it into one of the half cups of water. And you can try to mix it, but it doesn't really mix anyway, so you're just wasting your time. After that, you take the Elmer's glue and dump it into the other half cup of water. <laughs> Very pleasant noise. And that one you're going to want to actually mix around a little bit. Okay. Once this is complete, you mix the two solutions together into a bowl that's going to hold both of them. After that, you uh, fiercely stir the solution that you have made. Okay. My eight year old sister taught me how to do this, by the way, so if you don't know how, at the end, I pray for you. Um, now it's going to be a sloppy mess, and you have to get it out of the water so it doesn't continue to be a sloppy mess. And. Now you go into the delicate process of kneading, which is playing with your hands, the new terminology that I learned. You're just messing with it and forming it to your hands pretty much to take out the liquid. Okay. Forgot that. <laughs> Lastly, to uh, have a little color to it. Um, you're going to want to take some food coloring and uh, mix it in however much you think desired. This will give it a, a little better effect. That isn't... <laughs> <laughs> Where it's not just a plain white color. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but after this kneading process has taken place and the color's all in it, kind of, you have yourself some wonderful slime for your kids to hopefully play with and maybe even a little. Uh, yeah, I don't know, something for you to, to clean off the carpet after they're done. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's the easy steps to make slime. Thank you.